Hey, it's Michael from Alaska. I got a song playing called Never Let Go. I want to pray for marriages. A lot of marriage has been under attack. Even mine has been under attack a little bit. And you know what? People need prayers because the enemy is out there to steal, kill, and destroy. I want to pray for marriages. Stand in agreement with me, please, would you? And pray with me if you like. Father, we have storms in this life, but you're the anchor that holds, Father. There's no one like you, Jesus. Father, I pray for every spouse in the name of Jesus. I bind up these demonic attacks against marriage. I bind up the spirit of strife and division in the name of Jesus. I bind it up, Father. I cast it out. I pray that husbands will love their wives as Christ loved the church, and I pray that wives will submit themselves unto that godly leadership. Because, Lord, as the man does his part, it's easier for the, you know, the woman. Lord, it's hard not to submit to a man that's after God's own heart, that, that is um, the, uh, following, um, with loving his wife as Christ loved the church. So just help each other. Help each spouse to submit. And just love one another. And I'll serve one another. It's, it's, it's about just um, doing what Jesus called us to do and what we've been called to do as a husband and a wife, Father. Our Lord, pour out your Holy Spirit to love one another unconditionally. To, Lord, I, I bind the devil. Lord, I know there's a lot of husbands that, that really don't know Christ. Maybe they say they do. But Lord, they have no fruit. I, Lord, I bind the enemy and I pray that you would chasten them and you would move mightily. I pray for the fire of God to fall. Father, I pray for those that are standing strong for your marriage that you give them double for their trouble. Lord, just pour out your Holy Spirit. You, Lord, you never let go of us. No matter what kind of storm is coming through in our lives, you never let go. Lord, we can run away, but Lord, you're always there. You're always there. You never leave us, never forsake us. Pour out your Holy Spirit. Pour out your Holy Spirit. Lord, just bring the prodigals home. Lord, those that are rebellion to you, I, I, I just pray repentance over them, Father. I pray that they would live for you. Lord, if you, you die for them, that they would live for you. Lord, help us. Help the men to be men of God. Help the women to be women of God and honor each other as spouses. Pour out your Holy Spirit over marriage, Father. Father, marriage is a beautiful thing as we do it unto what your word says when we honor one another and we sacrifice for one another, Lord. Lord, I keep thinking of when you washed Peter's feet as, your, as a disciple. Lord, you're the king of glory and you humbled yourself to wash his feet. To wash your, your child's feet, Lord. And Peter said, oh, I, I can't have you do that, Lord. And he says, well, you have no part of this kingdom because it's about humility. Lord, it's not about pride and rebellion. It's about humility. It's about loving one another. To love all, to forgive all, to live for Jesus. Lord, I, I pray for the body of Christ to get that message that it's about loving one another and edifying and building one another up. So many people just want to tear down, tear down, but to build one another up. Father God, let your Holy Spirit fall mightily on my marriages. Let your Holy Spirit bring healing, Father. Lord, help those that are trying to stand for their marriage. For unsaved husbands to be saved. For unsaved wives to be saved. For there to be a mighty move of God. We bind the devil. I pray the angels of God will minister over all marriages, Father. I pray for a mighty move of God of your Holy Spirit, Lord. I pray for marriages where they're not saved to get saved. I just pray for a mighty move of your Holy Spirit, Lord. And give strength and peace and joy. Just pour out, Father. Pour out, Father. Pour out. You're coming back for a church that's on fire. You want us to stand in love, stand in mercy, stand in grace. You want us, Lord, to be, to be building up your kingdom. You want us to stand and love one another. Even, Lord, have unconditional love. So even times that, Lord, I know I've been grumpy with my wife at times, but she still loves me. She forgives me. I'm thankful for that, Father. I'm thankful, Lord, that when I make mistakes, my wife still loves me unconditionally. And I know, Lord, she's thankful that when she makes mistakes, I love her unconditionally. Lord, there's nothing like your unconditional love of Jesus Christ. And, Lord, help us to all exemplify that. Lord, we love you, Father. Pour out your Holy Spirit over marriages, Father, in Jesus' mighty name. Saturate, Father. Saturate. Lord, I pray for marriages just to continue to grow in your love, joy, and peace. And, and, and Lord, I, it may sound silly to some people, but Lord, to never lose the puppy love in marriage. Lord, the puppy love meaning what brought them, you know, that, that, that woodness that brought them together in the first place. Lord, because Lord, 
We should never quit dating our spouse. We should never quit having those wonderful times that you, you, you know, that you, as you brought things together, Lord. Oh, Lord, you're just awesome. I pray you just saturate marriages, saturate marriages, saturate marriages. But, Lord, just help us all to stay focused on Jesus Christ. And even as we're married, to always keep Jesus number one in our lives and stay focused on you so that you can be the rock for the marriage and, and be the rock for our lives. Because, Lord, you never leave us, never forsake us, never let go. We love you, Lord. Pour out your Holy Spirit in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Love you guys. Uh, hallelujah. Thank you for staying in agreement. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God is moving. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for moving, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for my Holy Spirit. In Jesus' mighty name. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Praise your holy name. Thank you, Lord. Love you guys. Thank you for standing in agreement. I really appreciate it. Love you guys. God bless.